Struggling with finding the perfect intermittent fasting window? You're not alone. The world of intermittent fasting, or IF as it's commonly known, can feel like a labyrinth of hours and ratios, leaving many of us overwhelmed and unsure of where to start. The buzz around IF has been growing with claims of fat loss, improved focus, and even longevity. But amidst the hype, the key question remains, what is the best intermittent fasting time? The answer isn't one size fits all. Our bodies and lifestyles are unique and thus, the ideal IF window may vary from person to person. Today we're going to walk through the maze of intermittent fasting, clearing up common misconceptions and providing you with practical, tailored solutions. We'll explore popular fasting schedules, discuss the science behind the magic, and highlight the importance of listening to your body. Stick around, and together we'll cut through the fasting frenzy. Curious about the metabolic magic of intermittent fasting? Let's dive into it. Intermittent fasting or IF isn't just a trendy buzzword. It's a time-tested method of eating that can help improve insulin sensitivity, kickstart fat burning, and even promote cellular repair. Now there's no one-size-fits-all approach to IF. Some people prefer the 16-8 method fasting for 16 hours and eating during an 8-hour window. Others might opt for the 5-2 method, eating normally for 5 days a week and drastically reducing calories for 2. Then there's the eat-stop-eat method, involving a full 24-hour fast once or twice a week, but weight loss isn't the only benefit of IF. It can also reduce inflammation, enhance cognitive function and potentially even increase longevity. So yes, there's more to intermittent fasting than meets the eye. But remember, your body's unique needs come first. Always listen to it and adjust your fasting schedule accordingly. Are you a morning marvel or an evening eater? Your chronotype matters. Yes, you heard it right. Your chronotype or your natural sleep-wake cycle plays a crucial role in determining your optimal fasting window. For those of you who are early birds, you might find it beneficial to align your eating window with your circadian rhythm. That means, if you're naturally inclined to wake up with the sunrise and sleep at sunset, you'll likely do well with an eating window that ends in the early evening. What about the night owls among us? You might find fasting a little more challenging, especially when it comes to sleep and digestion. The key is to create a fasting schedule that fits with your lifestyle. Perhaps you might prefer a later eating window that wraps up just a few hours before bedtime. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to intermittent fasting. No matter your chronotype, there's a fasting fit for you. The key to finding your fasting fit? Experimentation. You see, everyone is unique. Your body, your schedule, your lifestyle, they're all different from the next person's. So, it makes sense that your fasting window should be tailored to you too. That's where experimentation comes in. Start by tuning into your body, pay attention to your energy levels throughout the day. Are you feeling lethargic or are you bursting with energy? These cues can help you identify the best time to eat and fast. Similarly, listen to your hunger. It's normal to feel somewhat hungry towards the end of your fasting window, but if you're ravenously hungry or feeling faint, it may be a sign that your fasting window is too long. Now when it comes to starting your intermittent fasting journey, don't feel pressured to dive into the deep end. It's perfectly okay to start small. If a 16-hour fast sounds daunting, start with a 12-hour fast instead. As you grow more comfortable with fasting, you can gradually increase the duration. Remember this isn't a race, it's about finding a sustainable routine that works for you. Of course, keeping track of your progress is crucial. You might want to consider using a journal or an app to monitor your fasting and eating windows, record how you're feeling, and note any changes in your health markers. This can provide valuable insights into what's working, and what might need tweaking, plus it's always encouraging to look back and see how far you've come, and while we're on the subject of progress, let's clear something up, progress doesn't always mean losing weight or dropping a dress size, maybe it's feeling more energetic, having clearer skin or simply enjoying your meals more. These non-scale victories are just as important and worth celebrating, so grab your journal, start tracking and remember to listen to your body. With a bit of patience and a lot of experimentation, you can find the fasting schedule that fits you best. Remember, it's not about perfection, but progress. Intermittent fasting is more than just watching the clock. It's about creating a lifestyle that supports not just weight loss, but your overall health and well-being. And the first step in this holistic approach is food. Remember, fasting doesn't mean starving. It's crucial to nourish your body with a balanced diet within your eating window. Think fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods provide the energy and nutrients your body needs to thrive. Hydration is another key player in this game. Water plays a vital role in every bodily function. So, 
Even while fasting, make sure to sip on water, herbal teas or even black coffee to stay adequately hydrated throughout the day. Now let's talk about movement. Regular physical activity, be it a brisk walk, a yoga class or a gym session, can maximize the benefits of intermittent fasting. It boosts your metabolism, helps burn fat and elevates your mood. So, find an activity you love and make it a part of your routine. And last, but certainly not least, is sleep. Quality sleep is essential for optimal fat burning, hormone regulation, and overall well-being. So, create a sleep sanctuary. Turn off electronic devices, dim the lights, and aim for 7 to 9 hours of restful sleep every night. Your health is a holistic journey, and every step counts. So, embrace this approach and you'll find that intermittent fasting becomes a seamless part of a healthy, balanced lifestyle. Let's recap and celebrate your journey. You've learned to consider your individual needs and chronotype when deciding on your intermittent fasting window. You've discovered the importance of experimentation, a balanced approach, and a holistic lifestyle. Remember, this journey is about your long-term health and sustainable habits. Tailor your fasting schedule to fit your unique lifestyle and needs. It's not about perfection but progress. Remember, progress takes time. Celebrate all wins, big or small, on your fasting journey. Did you enjoy this video? If you found it helpful, do us a favor and hit that like button. It helps us to know what content you find most beneficial. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. We regularly release informative videos like this one. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with intermittent fasting, so don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you know someone who could benefit from this video, please share it with them. Your engagement helps us create more content for you. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel. All right, let's dive into a quick Q&A session to answer some of your most frequently asked questions about intermittent fasting. We've received tons of questions and we've selected the ones that come up most often. Question 1. Is it okay to exercise while fasting? Absolutely, but listen to your body. If you feel too weak, consider adjusting your fasting window or the intensity of your workouts. Question 2. Can I drink coffee during my fast? Black coffee, yes, but adding milk, cream or sugar will break your fast. Question 3. How long does it take for intermittent fasting to show results? This varies for everyone. Some people see results in as early as two weeks while others might take a couple of months. Consistency is key. Remember, these are just general guidelines. Your body is unique and what works for one person might not work for another. Always consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant changes to your diet or exercise routine. And that's it for our quick Q&A. We hope we've answered some of your questions and helped clear up any confusion. Remember, knowledge is power in your fasting journey. Keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep going. You've got this.